Hi, Miss Wilder. I was wondering, can I take a tour? I'd actually like to go dancing. I'd be happy to assist you with that. What time? At midnight. I was so ready for a good rom-com, so it was an absolute joy to get to experience Mexico City with you and get whisked away. Um, talk to me about, you know, from, from the culture to the language to the settings, like what did it mean to you to get to have that be such a part of the story? You know, I'm, I'm from Mexico City, you know, and my favorite part and what really, you know, I think makes this movie so special is yeah, you watch rom-coms and the place where the story takes place, the city is is almost like a character in the film. You watch Midnight in Paris, it makes you want to go to Paris. You watch Notting Hill, you want to go to London. Uh, yet there, you know, I, I'd never seen a Hollywood rom-com shot in Mexico. So uh, that was that was that was huge for me, you know, and we started developing this in 2018. It's the first movie that I produced under my production company. And we worked on the script and this project for many years, you know, teamed up with great people, Fred Berger, who produced La La Land, Michelle Franco, who's an amazing Mexican filmmaker who directed me in Nuevo Orden, which won the Venice Film Festival in 2020. So it was almost like working with the best of Hollywood, with the you know, best of Mexico and, uh, you know, telling this story, which, you know, I, I it was it's like a love letter to Mexico. Well, and you're talking about your production company. You, 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 you're a businessman. You grew up. You're singing. You're acting. To me, it seems like able to easily kind of face those fears. Unlike your character, who you know isn't sure he can take that step into having his own boutique hotel. Talk to me. What, what does that look like for you in your own life? How have you had um, such success with what you're doing based on things you you know kind of had to face in life? I mean, I've been very lucky to work with great people. You know, my first movie was Rock of Ages, where I got to work with Tom Cruise and Alec Baldwin and Catherine Zeta-Jones. And I was 20 years old. It was my first movie. I'd never done anything. And it was an amazing learning experience. And I learned very quickly that it's all about teamwork. When you're making films, when you're you know, doing TV shows, it's really all about the, the team behind it. So uh, I try to surround myself with people that I look up to, with people that I admire, that I want to learn from. And that's you know, I think that's key. One of the things that I loved about the film is everything's on the table for, and there's something for everybody. You know, navigating Hollywood is, is very funny to family dynamics, to relationships, to, you know, culture. Uh, is there a theme that you identify with most or is there one that was so opposite? It just was so much more fun to play because it was a whole new thing to explore. You know, I had to take some cooking classes. Uh, I'm, I wasn't a great cook. Uh, and Alejandro loves food and, you know, there's like a lot of food in, in the movie. So that was that was that was one of the things that I that I had to work on. And also the dance sequence um, as written in the script, it was just like a little small dance scene. And Monica came in and I was like, no, 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 guys, you know, like we have to make this a great dance sequence. And she's a dancer. She studied dancing. She's an incredible dancer. And she kind of, I was like, Monica, well then you, you know, you do your thing. Like, I'll just try to, you know, <laughs> like, I'll just do my best, you know, but you know, <laughs> it was, it was her idea to make it a tango and a fusion with salsa and, 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 and she, she made it, she made it her own. And that was, I, I was just trying to keep up. Every good rom-com has a choreographed dance scene. So you've, you've arrived. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time today. And I can't wait for audiences to get to see this. Thank you, Kelly. It's great talking to you.